The uh, Islamic State group has released a video said to show the beheading of a second U.S. journalist. Stephen Sutloff uh, was kidnapped in Syria in August last year. He was not seen again until last month when he appeared in a video released online by the IS group. This latest video shows, uh, follows the beheading of another U.S. journalist, James Foley. The White House has not yet confirmed the authenticity of this video. Paddy Calhane reports now from Washington, D.C. We will not show you what are believed to be Stephen Sotloff's final moments. In a video, his killer blames U.S. President Barack Obama for the beheading after the president ordered limited strikes on the Islamic State group in Iraq. The man, speaking English with a British accent, tells the U.S. this is their second warning and says David Haynes from England will be next. If the video is genuine, we are sickened by this brutal act taking the life of another innocent American citizen. Our hearts go out to the Sotloff family, and we will provide more information as it becomes available. I don't have additional information at this point. When the Islamic State group killed James Foley exactly two weeks ago, President Obama said he would not stop striking Islamic fighters in Iraq, and word quickly leaked that U.S. Special Forces had tried and failed to rescue American hostages inside Syria over the summer. While U.S. intelligence agencies continued the search over the last two weeks, Sotloff's mother sent this message asking for mercy. Stephen is a journalist who traveled to the Middle East to cover the suffering of Muslims at the hand of tyrants. Stephen is a loyal and generous son, brother, and grandson. He is an honorable man and has always tried to help the weak. The 31-year-old journalist had been held captive for just over a year. He disappeared near Aleppo. The U.S. believes the Islamic State group is holding other Americans hostage, but won't say how many more. Regardless, it's unlikely this latest murder will change U.S. foreign policy as the president weighs more strikes against the Islamic State group, not fewer. Patty Culhane, Al Jazeera, Washington. The uh, Committee to Protect Journalists calls the act barbaric, saying we condemn in the strongest terms possible the murder of journalist Stephen Sutloff. He, like James Foley, went to Syria to tell a story. They were civilians, not representatives of any government. Their murders are war crimes, and those who committed them must be brought to justice swiftly. Robert Grenier is a former top counter-terrorism official at the CIA. He says the intelligence community will be focusing on what other hostages may be in the hands of the IS group. Well, no, in fact, they don't. I think uh, the president has been very clear that uh, this is not going to change U.S. policy vis-a-vis -vis the Islamic State, either in Iraq or in Syria or elsewhere in the region, for that matter. Uh, he has continued to work very hard to try to put together a coalition, both in the region and outside. And uh, I don't think that uh, there's any change in U.S. policy that's going to come about as a result of this. However, that may not be very clear to the Islamic State. And so it, it's uh, very much a change in U.S. policy that they are trying to uh, coerce in this way. Well, no, the, the intelligence community uh, uh, makes it a practice very much to stay outside of policy. It's the president and uh, the, the, uh, the rest of the executive branch that, that makes policy. It's the duty of the intelligence community to inform policy. But uh, we can be sure that they are focusing very, very hard on uh, what other foreign hostages may be in the hands of the Islamic State. Where might these people be? What might be the realistic possibilities for launching some sort of an escape attempt, uh, or some sort of rescue attempt? Uh, it's very clear that uh, the Islamic State is going to follow through on its threats, and uh, there is really very little to be done in the way of negotiation with them. And so I, I suspect that efforts to try to rescue those people who possibly could be rescued will be redoubled in the future.